There was a capacity crowd of well over 55,000 in the HSH Nordbank Arena in Hamburg for the visit of stylish Leverkusen. Martin Yo, the new man at the helm in Hamburg. And of course, Bruno Labbadia has taken over in Leverkusen. Hamburg second in the table. Second only on goal difference in the wide shirts and a mistake right at the start. Wonderful opportunity for the visitors to take the lead. Helmus, Kiesling off the bar and from just one metre out, Barnetta puts the visitors in the lead on four minutes. The home fans absolutely stunned. A mistake in midfield, it was De Jong who lost the ball. Kiesling's pass a little too long for Helmus, but Leverkusen's new signing from Cologne chipping it over. Kiesling against the bar. Bonetta with the easiest of opportunities. Great start for Leverkusen. The home fans, of course, had also come to see 7.5 million euro signing Thiago Neves, the Brazilian from Fluminense. Lovely touch inside from the Brazilian to David Yarolim. That was the first opportunity. There is Thiago Neves. The first opportunity for Hamburg. 16 minutes played, though. Leverkusen with very much the reins in their hands in the opening stages. Midway through the first half. As Vidal, that's a glorious ball right in the path of Helmes, decides to go for goal. He did have support in the form of Kiesling, but a fine effort too from the young striker, formerly with FC Cologne. On 24 minutes, first of all, that uh, shot from Helmes, but on 24 minutes, a great opportunity again for Leverkusen. Frank Ross, the Hamburg goalkeeper, not at all happy with his defence. Out on the right. Vidal once again into the path of Kiesling, turns it inside beautifully. And Helmers chipping it over the helpless Frank Ross. Two goals to nil for Leverkusen. And a well-deserved lead indeed. Bruno Labbadia. Uh, applauding his new charges, but look at the way the ball's turned inside to Helmers. It makes no mistake. Helmers, of course, a member of the German national squad. Renato Augusto to Kiesling. Wonderful opportunity, goal number three, surely, but Frank Rost. Showing all his experience, coming off his line to snuff out the danger. That really could have been the end of the game, even in the first half for Hamburg. The defence coming to thank Rost and Martin Jold, the Hamburg coach, not at all impressed with his defence. On the half hour, Olic producing the very best from Rene Adler, the young Leverkusen goalkeeper who's been out through injury, returning to the side and showing why he's regarded as one of the best in Europe. <laughs> Hamburg finally on 36 minutes through Paolo Guerrero getting back into the game. But I'm afraid the Leverkusen defence at sixes and sevens. Two defenders, they both look at each other as if to say, why didn't you take him? Guerrero says, I don't care. 2-1. 40 minutes played. And then disaster for Leverkusen. Manuel Friedrich had already seen yellow. Brings down Matthijsson. And the excellent referee, Dr. Helmut Fleischer, almost apologetically has to send off Friedrich. Bruno Labbadia absolutely furious. Has to be told to control himself by the fourth official. And believe it or not, it was Manuel Friedrich's birthday. At halftime, Rudi Fuller, one of Germany's greatest ever goal scorers, acting the role of peacemaker and mediator. Into the second half. 
Hamburg now looking for the equaliser. Corner kick. Great work by Atuba. And once again, the Leverkusen defence slips, stumbles, tries to head the ball clear to no avail. A mistake by Hagi. Olic, the goal scorer. Just look at the two defenders. Karim Hagi and Enrique. No chance at all for René Adler. Hamburg, two goals to nil down. After 20 minutes, pulling back to make it 2 all. And a disconsolate Manuel Friedrich sent off watches from the sidelines. Midway through the second half, wonderful flying header. Karim Hagi almost making up for his laps that led to the equaliser for Hamburg. Catapulting himself through the air, the Tunisian international. Hamburg with Petric on a sub and Petric, the Croat, almost putting his side in the lead. A very late signing before the transfer window closed. Laden Petric from Dortmund. 18 minutes to go. Hamburg now very dangerous and it's in the net. The pressure finally told. The last touch was from Mladen Petric. The shot across the goal was from Thiago Neves. The Tro Trokowski's corner, this is Neves banging it across. Matthijsson lets it go through his legs. And number 10, Mladen Petric gives Hamburg the lead. What a turnaround. Leverkusen with only themselves to blame. Two up, and then Friedrich sent off. And in the end, Hamburg keeping their shape, keeping their concentration, and perhaps, I think, at the death, fully deserving their victory. It ends Hamburg 3, Leverkusen 2.